Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can automatically download all of your MS form response into Excel sheet and then apply some filter on that Excel sheet and generate a customized HTML table, send that over to your emails and also generate a PDF out of that. I have already created a flow as you can see in my emails. This is a custom generated email into a HTML table format with some CSS style applied to it. And you can see this Excel sheet, it is downloading all of the MS form response that our form have. And based out of this custom HTML table, we are generating a customized PDF as well. So that if you need a report in a PDF format, you can generate that as well. So we'll just talk about this, how we can achieve this. I'll create a scheduled cloud flow here and uh, name this forms responses to PDF. And I want to run this flow every day, 9 a.m. every day. As we all know, there is no default trigger available in Power Automate, which can download all of the form response. That's why we are creating this as a recurrence every day. So it will send you all of the form response that you have every day. Send an HTTP request to SharePoint and the site address will be forms.office.com. Copy this from here. Go here, enter custom value, paste it. The URI, what we're gonna do is, I'll go to my forms. As you can see, we have seven responses in our form and there is option of open in Excel. I'll open my developer tool here. And in the network head, when I click on this open in Excel, you will see there is a get response generated here. I'll cancel this. This is an forms API call, right click on this one, copy this URL, go to your form, paste this inside your URI section. So as you can see, we have this forms.office.com this one i've already provided in top so from form api download excel file dot ashx and then there is a form id this is my current form id and then there is a time zone option where i am currently and there is min response id and max response id so min response id is one max response id is seven because our maximum response in the form are seven so I can make this as a thousand and you can dynamically put this as well so that it won't throw you an error if you create one or two more response on top of that. So I'll perform create file step here. Create file in SharePoint document library. I have a SharePoint site which is dev and I've already created document library with the name of forms and under the forms document library, there is a forms data folder where I want to save this Excel file. And the name of the file which I want to put is UTC now. <coughs> xlsx this is this will generate every time a dynamic names to my excel sheet and file content will be body of this http request i will schedule a delay count of 10 second And once I have that, what I can do is I can get this file SharePoint get file content and in the site address, I'm going to select my dev site and the file identifier will be
unique id of that file or folder all right so it will get me that specific file so next step will be list row present in table that's an excel connector location will be my dev sharepoint site and document library is forms document library and file will be I will say path of create file table name will be table one because uh, all the excel file which has table as in default created have table name as in table one so in case you are putting table name as in a customized table name so you will have to replace that here as well and i'll click on this show advanced option here and there you can see a date time format i'll select iso 8601 as in date time format what happened is when we try to fetch the data from Excel and if there is any date format available into Excel, it will convert automatically that into a decimal points. Using this date time format ISO 8601 will have date exactly the same way. And in case if there is some mismatch then we'll convert that into format date times and according to that we'll get the exact date times for our responses. So I will save this one and try to run our flow. Click on test. I'll run this manually, run flow. Our flow ran successfully. We'll go to list row present in table and click on this show raw output. Copy this entire data. Paste inside your editor. We'll go on top, as you can see in the body section, values, this is an array format. And as of now, as you can see, start date time, what we are getting is the exact format that we are looking in, but there are some special character like this T and this Z, right? So we'll walk on this part, but as of now, what I need is, I want to apply a filter wherein rate session out of five is equal to three. I'll copy this question, go to my flow, add it my flow, now apply filter. Filter array from list row present table value and the choose, I'll go to expression, select item, put data inside string and because I want to compare that with a number I will convert this entire one into a integer save this okay we'll see this it is there and is equal to 3 next step will be a select operation to select what data we need so i will select from filter array body start time and in the value section what i will do is item start time there is some special character like uh, this t and z so what we can do is we can further convert this format date and time and put in which format we need the data i'll copy this and uh, instead of this i'm gonna put this one so what i've done here is format date time item start time we have to convert into 
this format mmddyy hours minute second and then this is am or pm for td our completion time and the same format will do for the completion time first we have to replace start time with completion time and copy this paste it here we are good to go once we have this data i will create an html table out of this now create html table and in the create html table i'm going to create this from output of the select and once we have the table created i want to apply some css into this table i will write compose i have already created uh, this style sheet for the table i will put this in my description as well in case you need otherwise you can apply your styling as well just i have applied some font background color for table and then for td and th there is padding and border and then for ts there is background color padding top bottom font weight font size color white background color is there just a simple css and i'll paste that inside this compose the next step will be i want to create a file into onedrive because the pdf converter connector only works with onedrive for business so in your onedrive i'm going to create a file and the folder path will be you can go inside your onedrive inside a specific folder you can create that so i have export to pdf as a folder inside that i want to create a file name with same like uh, utc now dot html first i'll create an html file from this uh, compose output and once a html is created then i will say convert file and the file will be this create file id right it will convert this file into pdf create file inside the same location root and uh, this is my export to pdf file name will be convert file file name and file content will be convert file file content and we have a pdf generated as well so next step is we have to send this to an email so what i'm going to do is send email and i will send this emails to myself subject will be form the responses and i'll just type pfa and in the body content itself what i'm going to paste here is output of the compose which is css first and then create html tables first the output of compose which is css then output of ht create html table so there will be two output the first is from our this compose and the second is from create html table now i'll go down and i will attach both my pdf as well as my excel sheet here and in the attachment name i will say create file name and in the attachment content body of body of this send http to sharepoint and in the second attachment it will be from the create file 3 so what we're going to do is 
create file name and in the attachment it will be body I will save this and try to run our flow we have some error here so it's saying conversion of this file is not supported invalid operations okay so our convert file is not successful here okay so in the file content of create file i have only included as in the output of this compose not the output of this create html as well so i will just put uh, the output of create html table so we'll have both html and css available there and let's see how it goes on so now our flow ran successfully i'll go to my email section now and uh, there you can see i receive email already which is stating this html table based on the filter we have applied and if i click on this excel now i can see all the form response here with all the columns name that we are looking for and if i click on this pdf part i can see a custom generated pdf i can download this now offline and can use it anywhere where i want i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe to learn and tech thank you so much for watching